Hi, I'm Scott Yeskel. I teach the abstract curriculum here at Client Academy. I also teach the introduction to contemporary painting techniques. We run the class side by side. Uh, in this video, you'll see uh, the materials and supplies needed for the class, how to set up the palette, and all the various brushes that I like to use in class. Uh, this is going to be your paper palette that comes in your supply kit. I love the Gray Matters one because it helps you uh, decipher your values right off the bat. So a gray paper palette, perfect. So you should all have one of these. And importantly for your oil painters, uh, your walnut oil and your odorless mineral spirits. It's called Gansol. This is a great product. Uh, it comes in your kit, it's odorless, um, it's a wonderfully formulated uh, mineral spirit. Uh, no heavy solvents in either one of these, so it's ideal for a class setting and they work really well. Uh, the walnut oil does come in your kit if you can't find it. Uh, linseed oil also is great. Just nothing with uh, heavy solvents like Liquin or Galkid are allowed. Uh, these, both of these will do the trick, no problem. So that's your palette and your oil. Uh, it'll come with a jar, either with the coil or without. This is great to pour your turp in, your gamsol, and wash your brushes. Uh, you'll also need uh, a little container like this to put your uh, walnut oil in. This could either clip right onto your side of your palette or on the side of your easel. It's real convenient. And then uh, the paints. It's a limited palette. You start with your white. This is all Winsor Newton Winton colors. It's ideal for students. It's uh, very moderately priced. You don't need to buy the real expensive stuff, especially if you're just starting out. This is my favorite student grade paint. So uh, the small tubes are re very reason reasonably priced, about eight or nine dollars. So um, I suggest you just go for that, especially if you're a beginner. Winsor Newton, this is the titanium white. Then cad yellow medium. You could get cad yellow light, cad yellow medium, yellow ochre. Then into some cadmium colors, the cadmium orange, <coughs> the cadmium red light. To our more transparent colors, this alizarin crimson will come in your packet. I like dark neutral greens, so the Viridian is great. And then a nice weak, not so powerful blue, cerulean blue. If you just find it in the hue, that's okay. It'll be a little bit brighter. Um, that cerulean blue in the student grade shouldn't be too expensive. And then lastly, our two darker colors. We don't use black, so I just like to use a French ultramarine and then burnt umber. That's your limited palette. We'll go over it in class on how to mix, how to set up your palette. But if you just show up on day one with these colors, you'll be great. Uh, the one extra color that I ask you guys to get is uh, yellow ochre in acrylic. That's for toning your canvas, okay? So don't get confused. The only acrylic color you'll need is the yellow ochre. Now, if you're painting in all acrylic, I require the same colors just in acrylic and of course you wouldn't have to buy an extra one. Brushes. Uh, first I'll just start off with the palette knife. You, know, you should always have at least one palette knife. Um, whichever one looks good to you. This is a, a real normal size one. Uh, a larger kind of hardware store style brush. This is to tone your canvas. I still have some of my yellow ochre paint on there. And then um, a variety of filberts and flats. So you can see here, uh, the real large one is a 16 flat. We'll go down to uh, a 10. So you can see the difference between flats, have a flat edge here, and then the filberts, which have a more rounded edge. That enables you to get a little bit of a cleaner, thinner stroke. So we have a variety of flats, in a variety of filberts, rounded edges versus flat edges. Nothing too small. This should be your smallest brush, a filbert six. I provide the uh, photo reference for you guys, but if you want to bring in a couple of your references on the first couple weeks of class, that's good too, so I could get more familiar with 
your taste level and what you like and what we'll be working on. And that should do it. Can't wait to see you guys in class.